Hey everyone, Matt here from Herbal House and in this video we are taking a closer look at the latest 100 watt Quantum Par. So the Quantum Par series ranges in sizes, however this is the smallest one in the lineup. At 100 watts rated input power, this new panel, I'll just lift it up here, has seen some slight design tweaks with a few upgrades, but before we get right into those, I am just going to mention the packaging because everyone likes to know how these panels arrive. So. Absolutely stunning blue box of course and I will of course mention when we send this out to our clients and customers we do black wrap them so everything is nice and discreet just the way everyone likes it. But besides that it's how it's packaged in the box right? So of course within there we have this absolutely lovely foam tomb for the LED and what you'll notice is beyond the top layer there is actually at least 20 mil thick of foam the whole way around so you can guarantee that no matter how the couriers handle it it's going to get to you nice and safe. Okay so under the lid here we are starting with the booklets so there's two informational booklets just to help you get up and running set up your light and help make the most of it so I'll just pop those to the side here we have a bag of ratchet hangers which is equally important because that's going to allow you to easily adjust the light up and down also included within the packaging is the RJ network cable this is not a requirement to use and it is simply there to help link your light to the next light when used in master controller or remote control applications. And one thing that's new to the Quantum range is these hanging mounts. So they have gone away from using four ratchet hangers which was one per corner originally to now two with this hanger mount. I'll cover that in more detail shortly and I'll just move that to the side. It's a bit of an improvement quality of life type of feature. Now I've got the power cable here so everything comes as a plug and play style unit as you'd expect so you've got your two meter long power cable with a waterproof gland at the end of it here so no problem in those humid environments I'll just pop this out of the foam now so you can have a look here these little corner pieces there is one still in the box for this corner but that's just to keep the panel secure for transit but as you can see it's an absolutely stunning looking panel a really nice revision that we love to see. So now that we've got it out of the box let's actually cover the specs, features and changes over the last generation. Okay starting with the business end of the LED so this is what your plant is going to see most importantly of all and if you were to compare it side by side to the older generation there are some very obvious changes here. So you'll see that the PCB has grown right out to the edges now the overall physical size of the panel is the same as the last one but with that increase in size of PCB out to the corners the diodes are now able to go further out so that does actually see an increase in spread and more even light distribution from this rather compact panel so that's a really nice improvement to see. The diodes themselves are now Samsung LM301H series so that's the horticulture series from Samsung and they are wonderful diodes we absolutely love to see these on the quantum series it is a nice improvement it's keeping up with the times and the technology and offering the very best the industry has to offer so with those diodes we've got a staggered set of 3000k and 5000k following the perimeter of the LED right in the center we've got a 3000k array which is more flowering focus you could say Around the perimeter of that we have 660 supplemental diodes from Osram and 730 supplemental diodes in the corner there to help improve that spectrum diversity. So a spectrum, as far as spectrum change goes there's really not a whole lot of change over the last generation apart from the improvements of just light distribution and the diodes themselves have changed to that H series. So wonderful to see and I will also mention on this new generation they have stamped these with a whole bunch of specifications and certifications just to clarify that these panels are certified um, internationally they meet our standards they are a good product to use in New Zealand and Australia with all the specifications for there just in case you weren't sure what you were working with. Now we're on the back side of the panel you will see that this is actually quite a bit of contrast to the older design with this nice black shape and these pegs out the top which are used for the hanging mount I'll cover those again shortly but as you can see they've gone with this really nice black and blue aesthetic it looks absolutely stunning for an LED I must say. We have as far as components go they've stuck with the Meanwell XLG series driver again Meanwell recognized driver in the industry and they are really good and really reputable so nice to see on the back side there on the front here I'll just tilt that up we've got the dimmer module now the dimmer module itself there has been a nice little change there because with these uh, click increments for actually adjusting it manually we do have the RJ ports in the front so those RJs mean you can connect it up with a controller 
such as the AC Infinity control system via an adapter or a master controller for managing your light remotely or if you had multiple lights you can use it as a daisy chain function to run all of them off a single master. So notice that the last notch of the dimmer is EXT. That stands for external control and that is where you will set the dimmer when you're needing to control the unit remotely via a master controller or again a remote control system. Really nice to see commercial features being used in domestic applications. Not everyone will use it of course but it is nice to have it there. Now just before I let it go and move on to actually setting up the hangers and using the LED in application. I will mention that this black surface is in fact the heatsink so keeping in mind this caution scold sticker is there to let you know that the surface will get hot during operation especially when the light is turned up to full power. This is where the heat, where the heat is being rejected from the LED so just keep that in mind when in use you don't want to restrict the airflow around this area because that's how the panel is keeping cool. So I've just unpackaged the hanging equipment so we've got one, two ratchets and the two hangers as mentioned earlier. Now you want to start with the hanger itself so there's two posts in each, well sorry there's a post per corner and they're realistically these hangers are only going to go one way so you're just going to slip that into the post just like so and another one at the other end. So this is a nice improvement to be fair going from four ratchet hangers which did give you more adjustability however in terms of simplicity you just can't beat this it is extremely effective so from there you're going to take your ratchet hanger and you're simply going to click that on like so and you're going to do that with the other one like so so now you've got a really good place to set up this light it's going to stay nice and even and you can get yourself up and running easy so there's one thing I didn't quite touch on and that's the expected coverages for this light. We do have it covered in the description, however I will mention we rate this particular light to be pretty much perfect for a 60 by 60 grow space, which is what this is in for flowering. If you're looking to veg, you're definitely going to get a bit more coverage out of this with an 80 by 80 centimetres for veg quite comfortably. It just depends what you're trying to grow, whether it has a high requirement for lighting. But if you take a look here, we've set this up in our showroom display 60 by 60 tent and we have a super hot chili that we've been growing here under this quantum par 100 watt light for around a couple of months now and the plant's been having a really good time we've actually got some super hot chilies growing down the bottom there that are almost ready for harvest I wouldn't dare eat them though but just giving you some application of how this actually looks and how the plant responds to it so if you are dealing with something with a high intensity fruiting and flowering what you're going to do is you're going to adjust the dimmer here we've just set this down low for you guys you're going to probably crank that right up to 100%. So our general rule of thumb is 100 watts, or sorry, full power on the dimmer for flowering and about half power for veg growth. Now, that is a rule of thumb and for a lot of people, it's we do encourage actually playing around with that to suit your needs, but for most people it gets you up and running quite comfortably. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions at all, please reach out with us here at Herbal House. Thanks for watching.